So Riverbank, we're here in Dubbo, and this statue is Bill Ferguson. So tell us about Bill Ferguson. Who was Bill Ferguson? Bill Ferguson was a, an Aboriginal freedom fighter, uh, born of a Scottish father and a Wiradjuri mother, uh, came from Darlington Point, down on the Murrumbidgee, and um, in the 1930s and 40s, uh, uh, he was uh, responsible for a lot of stuff uh, which happened, uh, and uh, I believe it um, advanced our cause greatly in this country. Where did he get his education? Do you know much about his education? Uh, I think it was um, at a, a, a mission school that was set up by uh, yeah, people of uh, faith down on the uh, uh, Murrumbidgee, yeah. probably down there somewhere, uh, uh, Warren Gaster. So Bill Ferguson also had a faith and he was involved in churches here in Dubbo. Yeah, uh, so the story goes, um, uh, Ferguson lived here during the, from the 1930s, uh, late 30s onwards and um, until the 50s and during that time, uh, I believe he was uh, an elder of the local Presbyterian church. It was at a time uh, prior to Aboriginal people even being granted citizenship in this country. So the fact that Ferguson could achieve that office in one of the churches in this then village yep. was phenomenal, I think. Yeah. What were the sort of things that Bill Ferguson was fighting for? Uh, Bill Ferguson, uh, I like to think of Bill Ferguson as our Martin Luther King. In a lot of ways he was asking for the same things. He wanted to sit down at the table of brotherhood as it were and share from the same meal as everybody else. He wanted a piece of the pie for our people and I don't think there's any shame in what he was asking for. Mm. I don't think it was too outrageous. Yeah. He was involved in both the union movement and the ALP? That's correct. Yeah. What, what sort of roles did he have with those? Well, uh, his involvement with the unions, and one of the biggest in the country, the AWU, came from uh, the fact that Ferguson's father, a Scottish foundry writer, was also a shearer of some note and taught his sons how to do the same. For Ferguson, his uh, road to Damascus moment, as it were, uh, came when he was about 18 or 19, working in the sheds. It was uh, as if for the first time he noticed that when they got paid for their work, uh, uh, his cousins were paid less than him. He, asked his father about this and his father said it's the colour of their skin. I believe it was in that moment that Ferguson, the real William Ferguson was born, he stood up, he uh, decided in his heart of hearts I believe that uh, from there on in he was going to make a difference and he did. Yeah. Uh, I believe he did that based on the, the uh, the assumption that, or the, or the assertion that mum's black, so I'm black. These are my cousins. Yeah. This fight is my fight. Yeah. You see, Ferguson was uh, fair enough, uh, of a fair enough complexion that he could pass in the white man's world. He didn't need to spend a lifetime fighting for people who were on the margins. Not really. Yeah. He could work. He was a big, strong man, healthy, fit. He did not need to do what he, what he dedicated his life to. Yeah. He did it based on a belief. And the belief, I believe, was taught to him in the schools that he attended by people. It was taught to him by people like his father. It was really a part of him, a part of his DNA. He was, uh, his father was a part of the Scottish Presbyterian faith, and uh, it was out of that that Ferguson had always grown up in his consciousness yeah, yeah. with the idea that all men are created equal. Yeah, and that is interesting, isn't it, Riverbank? That he didn't need to fight the battle for himself, but he 
he, it was like he was with the people that were the indigenous people that needed that battle fought. That is what people need to know the most, brother, about this man and about this story. Yeah. William Ferguson died, brother, I believe, of a broken heart, sad and disillusioned. But William Ferguson walked down a road, a very lonely road. He spoke a language nobody really understood at the time because he was saying, what about the indigenous people? What about the first peoples? Even his own people looked at strangely at him because it was better not to, not to make too much noise, yeah. to keep your head uh, below the parapets as it were and not get it knocked off in the process. Ferguson was a man who had the courage of his convictions and yeah, he lived out what he believed in. That was fantastic.